are here with Dan at R9. Who, you've got a very lovely company, haven't you? I'm loving your oh, stand. Thank you. Yeah, I've got, I've been told I've got a pretty stand this year. It's very elegant. We've got the chandelier and it's all looking very smart. Thank and you. the gorgeous girls and all the fantastic things to display. Yeah. Talk us through here. I know you wanted to start here in front of the door. Talk us through yeah. the door. Yeah, well, what we did, we consulted our customers after last Fit Show and um, we said, look, well, how would you like us to develop it? And they said, well, make R9 as good as it can be. And we said, well, what does that mean? And uh, the starting point really, and we're launching it this year, is the door. So we call it R9 Elegant Entrance Screens. So basically we're looking for period properties that's got kind of the old period features retained. Um, and really the house has probably been done, but the door screen hasn't. Um, and this is really an option to give them a, a modern material, but with all those uh, traditional characteristics. It's very grand, so you're obviously quite high end, aren't you? Very high end, we sell posh products. Yes, now, some, some of our customers include, uh, we've had Lords, Lord wow. Chamberlain's a customer of ours. Um, but no, in every street you'll find these type of properties. If you take a ring road in any city, you'll find 1930s properties with screens that haven't been uh, converted yet. Um, and this product's for them. It's a, it's a really, really um, authentic looking product. It takes a 62 mil solid door slab. So most doors are 40, 45 mil, this is 62. So oh, there's a genuine sales argument to it, but also looking traditional. Yeah, it's nice and thick, good and sturdy. Nice and chunky. Now, you told me before we, we, we chatted on camera that your tagline is windows the way they're supposed to be made. Is the that right? The way they're right? meant to be. The windows, to be. windows the way they're I meant to so be. I was so close, so should we go and look at some windows? Let's go. And then yeah. you can talk me through, how are they meant to be? Well. <laughs> I'll put you on the spot now. This is, a, this is a good window. This is a very good window. It's, it's ginormous. Yeah. So this window really is about as uh, traditional as you can make it. So the, the material is uh, modern composite. So it's PVC laminated with acrylic, but it really does look like timber. And of course, it's maintenance free. So can you see this depth of appearance? That's kind of unique to us. And, and it, it's mechanically jointed. Um, so basically we're making uh, windows the way they're meant to be. That's how they were meant to be in the, in the 19th century. It's how they did it. So why change it? We're just using modern materials and old techniques. So you're taking it old school, aren't you? You're not skimping yeah. on product. Nice no. and chunky. I mean, you can feel it. All of these features here. It feels really well made, doesn't it? Well, when we Make designed it, we really wanted to distance ourselves from the mass market. So rather than being a bit better, we kind of made a big, big leap and said, let's make it as best we can be. So almost regardless of price, because we feel that those type of properties kind of, uh, they just want the right product installed. It's not about price for some homeowners. Yeah. Of course, there's a market out there for your high-end, swanky, gorgeous yeah. products. Okay, anything else you want to show us? Yes, I'll take your answer to us on new silk. Come with. So again, um, viewed from the outside, it's flush. Um, and we've got a period sill on there, which is new for this year. So there's a big investment in that sill. Um, and that sill can not just be used with our product, but on other windows as well. It's got a 70 mil platform, you see. Fantastic. So that, that's a period detail that we're pleased to launch on the show, yeah. Very nice. Anything else you want to show off? This is your opportunity. I'd like Tell to show my chandelier because... Let's go and look at the chandelier. I must admit, as a bit of a magpie, when I came on your stand, this is what caught my eye. Yeah, well, some of our clients have properties like this, so that, why not show the window in the right setting, you know? Oh, so you don't actually produce and manufacture these? This is just to give a bit of authenticity, no. I like it. Another thing I have to comment on is how dapper you look. And then I realise that all of the chaps on this stand, so it's a little uniform. It's our little uniform going on. We're kind like of a little it. bit, yeah, the brogues and the... English yeah. gentlemen. Exactly, yeah, we're on brands. Like so uh, just one final thing, on the big screen here, we've got our retail video. So the idea is that um, it's a day viewed through R9, so our customers can upload this to their website and it really helps sell the product. So we've we filmed four different properties um, and we viewed a day through R9, through, through the window, but actually showing all the features in close up and quite artistic style, I would say. You can't really beat seeing something like this in situ, can you? And yes. this is fantastic, but yes. I suppose this really inspires people, doesn't it? You can see how it might look yeah. in your home and it gives you a bit of inspiration. Well, I mean, we've got we've got full range of marketing literature, but in my experience, when somebody's spending this amount of money on a home improvement, they really want to get involved and actually be convinced that it's what they're looking for. Um, and I don't think you can do that in printed media. This is kind of, this is it live. This is how it looks. Um, the video, I have to yeah. say. Do you like the music? I love the music. I'm loving the open. Yeah. I'm so 
sold, I'll have bought yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, on a serious note, though, as well, I know that, that we spoke a little bit earlier to one of your colleagues about there's some fundraising you do here as well, aren't there? Yes. Tell us about that. I, well, just briefly, I did the ride across America last year uh, with GM Fundraising, so, so I cycled Route 66, and we raised over £180,000 for hospice. And just as I returned, unfortunately, my, my daughter Maddie was diagnosed with a very serious condition. Uh, which has led to her, have a, she, three weeks ago she had a, a bone marrow transplant and um, so we're raising money for Anthony Nolan and they're the people that found her a match, 100% match and she's doing really well and I just, I, just, I just wanted to say that they've done an absolutely fantastic job and um, when, you, when, when you have an illness like that, you, you, know, you don't want trips to Euro Disney in Paris, you don't want trips to the, watch the football, you actually want your child to get better and without their register it just wouldn't have happened. So, so we're raising money for that and the industry's really got behind me, we've got, we've got some real big names have come in without question and said yeah we're there. And it's fantastic, yeah. And it's Maddie Fundraising. You've got the badge on here. Tell us, how can we get involved and how can we donate? Okay, maddiefundraising.com. Um, you'll see us at the gala dinner. We're launching there, so you'll hear all about it there. You can go on the website or you can go into Hall 4, where you'll, we've got a stand. We've got a sports car on the stand and we've got people from Anthony Nolan um, who will actually swab you and you might actually save a life. Imagine that. Wow, that's yeah. Incredible. So yeah. where, where does that happen again? Sorry, just all four. I'm not sure the stand number, but you won't miss it. There's a TVR sports car on the stand. I'll tell you what, I will get myself down there now. Very inspiring. How old is Maddie? Maddie is eight now. Oh, bless her. Yeah. And she's doing well, is she? She's doing well, bless her. She's uh, three weeks after the operation, so um, she's, now, she's now doing well. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, well done you as well. What a fantastic cause. We'll all get behind you. Yeah. Um, very quickly, before we go, though, tell us about your experience of the Fit Show, because I know you came oh, yeah. here, You came last year. Yeah. You obviously had a fabulous time because you've come back. Yeah. What is it about the Fit Show, then, that you particularly like? Well, we love the Fit Show. We love exhibitions because we're always inventing things. And so wh where do you where do you show the uh, you know where do you show the masses what you've been up to without a show so we came last year it was absolutely fab and some of the clients we picked up are some of the big national brands so we wouldn't have got an audience with them if it wasn't for the show so of course we're back this year and we've got a bigger stand than normal so um that shows really how much we've invested you know in, in what happened last year and no doubt we'll book for the next show too yeah well i hope so because you've certainly pushed the boat out yeah, it is yeah. very swanky very decadent and you've got tea and coffee and as a girl, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. I couldn't help but see those lovely well, cupcakes. It gets better because it's Pims and cupcakes. That's we can, cupcakes. yeah. <laughs> Pims so and can cupcakes. we take some for all the crew? Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Get involved. I, and we've I knew even I got liked you. we've got the 99 cupcake with a flake in it as well, just wow. for the show. Yeah, God. take some. So of those. I can see there's going to be a lot of fun had on this stand as well, isn't it? Is that oh, what yeah. it's all about for you? Well, there's a serious side to it, but also come three o'clock this afternoon, we'll start on the Pims and start talking to clients <laughs> in a more relaxed manner. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think you know where you'll find us at three o'clock. Let's go and see what else is happening.